Howdy, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to start a new video series and I'm going to call it Tools You Didn't Know You Needed. So a lot of you boys is going to recognize this engine. Uh, it comes off of a specific generator. Uh, they've made this block and this engine more or less the same for several, several years. Uh, it does have some peculiar failings. The uh, some of them, the uh, the imp or the flywheel end seal will leak. Uh, there was a couple of years that they this nut wasn't torqued real good, or either it backed off, and it would shear the flywheel key. Uh, that was no good. Uh, sometimes the flywheel magnet fell off and. Usually when that happened, it broke the bosses off, so the block was totaled anyway. This particular block, uh, there's nothing wrong with the block except one jug or the other ate a screw and a butterfly out of the carburetor. Uh, that made some strange noise, and I ended up replacing the engine. The customer wouldn't go for a new generator. They just wanted the engine replaced. So I have this block. And I play with it when I need a part. I grab it off of here. It's parts. So what I'm going to demonstrate today is a Lyle flywheel turner. The Lyle part number on this is 23800. Now, I don't get any money from Lyle to demonstrate their tools. Uh, but hey, they make pretty good tools. And most of a good number of your, their tools are invented by guys like me and you. Guys that get a good idea and they submit them to Lyle, Lyle buys the patent and produces the tool. It's win-win. A mechanic actually invented this. So you can kind of see the way this works. It's real simple, but it holds real well. Uh, this is about a half inch square bar. It's good and stiff. And any of you guys that have had these things apart, know that this flywheel nut at least should be very very stiff now one of the ways that you can get this off is stick a pry bar down in here on the flywheel teeth and hold it against one of these bosses that makes me nervous as a dog passing a peach pit uh, these bosses aren't made to do that against uh, they're made to hold the mag. They're not made to put a, a screwdriver or a pry bar down in here and use it for a fulcrum. It makes me nervous to see people do that because you could you can shear these off if you're not careful. So now this nut is 36 mil takes a 36 millimeter socket. Uh, I think that's pretty standard on this make and model of machine. I've never seen one that wasn't 36 millimeter on one of these two holders. Now, this nut is tighter than tight. I didn't have my tool on there right. But there you go. One other thing that you can see in here, sometimes you can actually see the woodruff key and see the woodruff key seat in the end of this crankshaft. If you're having to take one of these off because you've got a really strange out of time misfire or failure to start or something like that, take your uh, harmonic balance puller, clamp her on here, pop the flywheel off and inspect that key because those do shear. But I just thought I'd demonstrate and give you all a little looky-loo at this tool. It's a fine tool. Uh, I like the company that makes the tool. And as you can see, if you're cautious about how you do things, you can get this. Ugh. Now, in the frame, you would be up in the air just a little bit. But if you're really careful about how you get this tool in here, you can reassemble it using the flywheel tool without bearing down on that boss. You can't really see it, but there's about an eighth of an inch clearance in there.
and you can use that flywheel tool to hold her back while you retighten that nut to the proper torque. And the proper torque on that nut is not three ugga duggas. Proper torque specs are in the service manual. Look it up. Read the fantastic manual. So, that's about all I got to say about that. Hope y'all enjoyed. In the meanwhile, y'all drive safe. And watch for deer. And watch for deer.